Hello guys, in today's video I'll go through product page. This page lists products based on specific needs. For example, I want to show all the products that are related to a specific category. Or display products that have special offers or based on specific keywords entered by the user. There is a lot of actions you can do in this page. I'll try to make it simple, then you can do your own imagination in this page. Let me show you an example. If you clicked on this category, you will find this design of the page click on this category it's the same page but it has different designs based on the page that is the user in i'll go to visual studio and i already extend the layout master log content don't forget to close the block and Let me add the structure. For now, we are gonna make it in general, then we are gonna customize it for a specific page, okay? The title will be under H1. Add the tag, open to a command, and type page.title. Close the tag. Here we have added the title. Save and refresh. Go to any page. As you can see here, it's the title of the page. Okay, let's do the rest. Under this step, we need to uh, add the products that are related to this page. So we are gonna add it in a for loop. For product in products. The product here is a, an object predefined by seller, so you're just gonna use it. Okay, in the for. I have a partial page, it's responsible for designing the card of the product. It's under the partials, products, and card. It's this page. This is the design of the product card. So I'm gonna include the product card here. Let's type include. Under partials dot product dot card. Okay. Okay. As you can see here, all the products. I just need to add it in devs to make a mega design. In that dev is will be under seller infinite scroll. Because the user, when he's scrolling down, he will see all the products until he will reach the end without pressing more and more and more and more. Okay, so I'm gonna use a predefined component by Seller. It's called Seller Infinite Scroll. Type Seller Infinite Scroll and add the products under. save to make a uh, when the user comes to the end of the page uh, load automatically a new product just type auto load next page product the next page okay this will navigate to the next page of the same category okay save and refresh because we don't have more product if the user keeps scrolling he will never reach the end of the page until the product finished another thing is if there is no product in this category so I want to check if there is a product show this product if there isn't show something else if if there is a product or length show this okay 
otherwise or else just let me into the F and F okay here here I'm gonna tell the user there is no product in this page Def. the icon will be under so I can hive and shopping as you can see here, it's done. If you go back to the home page and click on the Akhir Lerud, you will find it in the same design. We need to delete the title of this page, just this page, and add some section here for make it uh, like custom design. So to do that, we need to use another thing which called Slug. If you scroll here in the ever page, you will find all the variables or all the objects that is used in this page or allowed to use it in this page. To tell which page you are currently in, I want to print the name of the page. I just want to print the page that I'm currently in, okay? Page that's like, close, save, and refresh. As you can see here, it's product that index that offers. If I go back to the, I'll find it in a different. It's work as an ID for the base. So I'm gonna use this variable to differentiate the base between each other. So I don't want this title appears in the offers page. So I'm gonna type. An if condition if the page that's like not equal to if it's not equal to this then show the title otherwise don't show the title okay that means don't show the title for this page close the F Int F, save and refresh. As you can see here, there is no title. So the last thing we need to do is adding a new section here. It's just about a new design. I'm gonna add it in here. Let me copy the first, uh, the same condition here. Not equal to equal because I want it to, to show up if it's equal to an offers only for offers. Okay, okay. This is the structure. It's all about HTML. There is nothing else. Okay, save and refresh. And here it is. It showed up for the offers on the offers page. As you can see, it's not in the other sections page because we are customizing it in just a specific page. There is a lot to do in this page. It has a bunch of ideas and that ideas are explained and described in the documentation. Don't forget to check it out in the description box. This is it for this video. Thank you. See you next.